Hello all. An absolutely beautiful day here in California, San Francisco, US. We're taking a hike that way, probably in the uh, low 60s, but this is our summertime summer. Let's go up the, the hill here for a minute until we find a place we could do a video without anybody interfering with the pink. So I wanted to continue on with the uh, food situation around the world. Let's talk about hunger. How much hunger is there in the world today? Well, hunger levels are rising. They've been rising for the last three years. There are 821 million people that we know of that are lacking proper nutrition and daily meal. We need to pay attention to this, right? Indoor vertical farming. By the way, that's one in nine people are going hungry around the world these days. A child and a parent are coming this way, but they're so slow. I could probably finish this video before they get here. So where is most of the hunger? Well, number one is in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, and parts of the U.S. Since 2015, food has been in the decline. There's been less and less food made worldwide, year by year, for the last three years. So that brings me up to another problem, is the uh, soil condition around the world for farming. Another reason to move out of terrestrial farming and indoor farming is because one-third of all the topsoil around the world is now degraded because of bad agricultural practices. They say there's only 60 years left of marginal soil and then we'll be into the very worst soil. At that time, we should be about 10 billion people with no soil to grow in. What's that sound in the stomach? So one more problem with outdoor farming is that industry is starting to dump their waste into the outdoor farming area and calling it either fertilizer or soil stabiliz stabilizers or insect repellents, whatever they call it, they're dumping it on the farmland. One of these things is potash from coal burning. Um, the coal ash is becoming quite a problem here in the U.S. It seems that these companies always end up piling it right next to a river, usually so that they can transport it easy enough. But what a problem. Mountains and mountains of coal ash are piling up all over the U.S. Over 72 in North Carolina, where the hurricane at this very moment is coming ashore, with 72 ash ponds and ash mountains ready to blow around and pollute the, the, the surrounding area. Why wouldn't we convert to natural gas like Obama was doing? And he was just barely doing it. Why are we converting back to coal when we have all this toxic material we have to get, out, get rid of? And no, you can't just put it all over the farmland, orange man. That's what he wants to do with it. So, on hurricane day here in the U.S., a lot of people are a little nervous. I think they, uh, they kind of blew this hurricane up like they usually do. That's the way money is, you know, money corrupts all. So anybody that knows hurricanes saw that that hurricane was starting to get whipped around with shear winds and was going to slow down and no longer be much of a threat other than the rain and a little storm surge. But now it's down to a category two as of this video. Money always corrupts, huh? So I definitely did appreciate your last comments, your ups, your downs, and some new subscribers. And until next time. Oh, one more thing. The reason I haven't been commenting, YouTube's punishing me for commenting on my own videos again. They just don't like it when I comment. I don't know why. But I appreciate all the comments and your ups and your downs. And until next time.